Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at um, a ring that um, kind of comes in second best, I think, a lot of times in the form of popularity, uh, but it is still very nice uh, as a plus one to skills ring. Uh, it is the Bull Cathos Wedding Band. The Bull Cathos Wedding Band um, is level 58 requirement, and um, it does have the very uh, admirable uh, job of having to compete against the Soge. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with uh, what I'm talking about, uh, the Soge is also the plus one skill ring. However, the Soge is more directed at a character who is running uh, mana as opposed to a character who is in physical or melee range on a regular basis. So Bull Cathos seems to have been created to sort of fill a gap uh, between the characters who were magical um, and the characters who were melee, where, you know, the characters who were melee who wanted plus to skills also um, didn't really have their own version of the ring. If you're interested in uh, knowing what other ring I'm talking about, I am talking about the Stone of Jordan ring, uh, which is right here. And as you can see, we're going to be comparing these two to each other, so why not? Um, the Bull Cathos ring has plus one to all skills, which is absolutely great. Um, it is important to note that all skills will beef up things like CTA, whereas specific skills like uh, Barbarian or Combat skills or things like that uh, will not, um, unless you're a Barbarian. Now, Bull Cathos also has plus 5% to uh, Lifesteal which is uh, variable between a 3 to 5%. Um, it is the only variable on this particular uh, ring. So uh, if you do find a 5% life stolen per hit Bull Cathos, you have a perfect Bull Cathos. Um, we also have 49 to life based on character level, which uh, is 0.5 per level uh, up to 49 at its maximum. Uh, because this is a level 58 ring, um, it actually is always going to have, at the very least, uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, about 29 HP at its base. So at the moment that you can put this on, it's going to be about 29 HP, uh, which is bad. And if you are a barbarian, <coughs> you can, of course, buff yourself up and create even more out of this. So as you can see, I have 1,093 HP. And I'm going to go ahead and buff myself here. And now I have 2,210. And then when I put the um, Bull Cathos on, um, you will notice that I go to 2,260. So uh, a nice little bonus there between the two. Always got to be somebody creating a ruckus. Why does that seem like it only went up my... Uh, <laughs> Nap it. A tiny bit. Not even really that much with the uh, with the shout. Um, the other interesting thing about this is it also has plus 50 to max stamina. I don't know why they decided that maximum stamina was required on a level 58 ring. I can totally see maximum stamina, stamina drain, and things like that on lower level items where stamina does become an issue. But by the time you hit level 58, you're usually well past any kind of stamina problems. So I can only assume it's one of those, we just threw it in there because we wanted something else on the ring. Um, the other interesting thing about the Bull Cathos Wedding Band is that you can wear two of them just the same way you can wear two the Stone of Jordan rings. And um, you can have a double effect of 5% uh, lifesteal on both, so 10% lifesteal, plus 2 to all skills between the two. You can also have plus 49 times 2, uh, which is 98 life, so not bad. And uh, you can have 100 stamina. Ooh. <laughs> um, the Bull Cathos Wedding Bands are uh, really nice to have your hands on, and uh, quite honestly, both the Bull Cathos Wedding Band and the Stone uh, of Jordan Ring are relatively rare. Um, you're probably not going to find either one of them very often, and um, because both of them are plus to skill rings, it doesn't really matter. If you were on a Necromancer and you found a Bull Cathos, you'd probably wear it. Um, if you were on a... Uh, uh, let's say a um, a barbarian, and you found uh, the stone of Jordan ring, you'd probably wear it. Um, it when it comes to plus the skills, plus the skills is nice no matter what. Um, but 
if you're specifically, if you have a choice, if you've got like two soges in your stash and two, two bull cathos wedding bands in your stash, and you're trying to choose between the two, and that's a different story. Um, because now you are choosing between what is essentially the the additional buffs. So when we take a look at the uh, the Soge, the additional buffs on the Soge are increases to maximum mana with a little bit of lightning damage, whereas the buffs on Bolkathos are lifesteal and extra life. So if I'm a melee or ranged character, Bolkathos seems like a better option. But if I am a character that is highly dependent on mana, um, like for instance, maybe I'm a... Um, a freezing arrow Amazon, or maybe I'm a sorceress or a necromancer or something, then the Stone of Jordan Ring is, seems like the superior choice there. And um, and this is kind of the, uh, the thing that you're going to go along with. Now, my thing is, I've only found like one Zoge my entire time playing Diablo 2, and that's over decades. Um, and I've found several Bull Cathos. So as far as I'm concerned, the Bull Cathos is the one that you are more likely to find, um, just in general. And uh, let's go over and let's figure out where Bolkathos has the highest percent chance of dropping. So uh, we're going to go over to Silos Pen. Silos Pen is a pretty nice uh, hit drop chance calculator program. And, uh, and I do particularly kind of, uh, of like using this one because you can more fine tune uh, where you're going to be hunting for these items. Now, assuming we're going to have about 150% magic find and players one, uh, we are going to first take a look at bosses. So uh, sort by probability, and uh, and what we end up with is Hell Andorial is probably our best bet, bar none. So if you would really really like a uh, a Bull Cathos wedding band, uh, it really seems like Hell Andorial is probably the best bet. The second best bet is um, Hell Bale and uh, Nightmare Bale, uh, but they fall very short of the probability chance that Andorial has. Um, Let's go for Super Uniques. Let's take a look at Super Uniques. So uh, Super Uniques, the best one is Neelothak, followed by the Summoner. Um, and Neelothak in Nightmare apparently has a chance to drop it as well. Uh, Radamant in Hell, the Countess in Hell, um, and it just gets progressively worse from that point. Uh, even the Cow King has a chance rather it be very small, a 1 in 82,964 chance. Sounds like I'm reading you um, probabilities on winning the lotto. Um, let's take a look at um, regular monsters as well. So regular monsters... From what I'm seeing here, it looks like Worldstone Keep, Throne of Destruction. Um, so Worldstone Keep, level 3, and Throne of Destruction. Uh, Jail, level 1, 2, and 3 seem to have a pretty nice probability. Um, a lot of Worldstone Keeps here I'm seeing. Um, it really seems like Worldstone Keep has quite a large number of monsters that could possibly drop uh, this ring. And uh, same thing with Throne of Destruction. So I'm going to go with uh, regular monsters in Worldstone Keep. Have a pretty good chance. Um, it's not the most amazing chance in the world, but it's probably the best out of the lot. Um, anyway, this uh, ring was bound to be a uh, sort of a short one. Um, let's talk about really quickly who can use this ring. Um, so, you know, a, a Frenzy Barbarian would probably get good use out of this ring. Um, a Zeal Paladin could probably get you good use out of this ring. Um, any character that actually hits with a physical attack, so um, a Amazon, uh, maybe if you're a sorceress who's using a bow, uh, maybe um, if you're a bear sorceress, it could be a good choice. Um, there are a lot of different things that you could utilize lifesteal and plus one to all skills for, and of course the 49 to life based on character level is certainly not bad either. And, uh, and like I said, you could run two of them. You could get 10% life steal plus two to skills and uh, 98 to life, which is, of course, kind of nice. Oh, and oh, don't let me forget the uh, 100 to maximum stamina. Uh, oh, how could I forget that? <laughs> anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, keep watching.